Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.9 from Sadiku book. So the question said that the switch in figure 7.89 opens at t is equal to 0. Find V0 for t greater than 0. Okay, remember that the formula for the voltage in a capacitor is like this for first order circuit. But we need to trace case by case for this circuit. Okay, let's start at T less than zero. So the switch is not open yet. So it's still closed, right? So for the first case, let's name it case number one. Case number one is when T is less than zero. The switch... is still close okay so this is case number one let's draw it so let's me draw the circuit i will have six volt voltage source here okay and then we will have that two kilo ohm resistor so i'll have two kilo ohm and then i will have this one here which is 4 kilo ohm. Okay. And assuming that the switch has been there for a long time, the capacitor here become open circuit. So like this. But then this is parallel with this V0, right? So this will be V0. Okay. And now from here, we can find out V0. Okay, V0, we just need to find this voltage here by using voltage source, which is 4 divided by 2 plus 4 multiplied by the voltage source, which is 6. So I will have 4 divided by 6 multiplied by 6. Therefore, V0 is equal to 4 volt. Okay, 4 volt. Okay, and because this is the value is 4 volt until the switch is open and because the voltage in a capacitor cannot change instantaneously that will be at zero it still be 4 volt right so this is our first value we will have v0 zero, zero is equal to 4 volt okay now let's move on to case number two so what is case number two? Case number two is when T is equal to zero. So the switch is now open. So if the switch is now open, this just don't, do not exist anymore. So I will have the circuit like this. So I will have four kilo ohm and V zero is here. And the capacitor is charged now with 3 millifarad. Okay, 3 millifarad value. So from here, we can calculate the time constant. So tau. Tau is the resistance here multiplied by the capacitance. So R multiplied by C. And the R is 4 kilo ohm. So 4 multiplied by 10 to the 3. And then C is 3 multiplied to the 10 to the minus 3. Okay, that 10 to the 3 and 10 to the minus 3 will cancel each other. So we will have our time constant is 4 multiplied by 3. That will be 12 seconds. Okay. And now let's move on to another case to find out the V infinity. So as the name suggests, it should be at the infinity. Case number three, when t is equal to infinity. Okay, when t is equal to infinity, our capacitor becomes open circuit because it has been discharged. So our circuit becomes just a resistor like this. Okay, that is 4 kilo ohm and V0 is here. However, because there is no energy source, 
So I will have P0 of infinity is equal to 0. Okay, that's good. Now let's wrap that up. So we can get that P0 of T is equal to P0 of infinity. So I will have 0. And then plus P0. P0 is 4 volt. So I will have 4 here. And then minus P0 infinity which is 0. And then E to the minus T divided by tau. Tau is 12. Okay, let's simplify this. So I will have P0 T is equal to 4 minus 0 is just 4. So I'll have 4 e to the minus t over 12. And the unit is volt. And then this will be 4 t is greater than 0. So this is the final result of the problem, the final answer. Okay. Hopefully, this will help you to solve problem 7.9 from Sadiku book. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. I will leave the video until 8 minutes for the AdSense purpose. Okay, bye-bye.